Welcome to Nanny Knowledge with Miss Jen. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to know when your baby or toddler is ready to begin the potty training adventure. I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you'll get updates and notifications whenever I post a new video. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. As you know, I've been a nanny and a child caregiver for over 39 years. I've potty trained a lot of babies and toddlers. I often have mommy clients asking me, when should we start potty training our toddler? How do we know when the baby is ready to start the potty training journey? Every baby is different and every baby learns at different ages and stages, just like other milestones like walking or learning how to talk or crawling. Learning how to use the potty happens at different ages and stages too. However, most toddlers are developmentally and cognitively ready to start the potty training process between the ages of 18 months and two years. Anything younger than that would actually be considered what's called elimination communication. I talk about this in some of my other videos. I'll leave some links down below for you. You might want to check those out, especially if you're thinking about starting your potty training journey a little bit younger. It's a very interesting custom and it's been going on for centuries and centuries, way longer than any of us were around or even thought of the word diaper or pull up or pampers. So if you ever hear a mommy talking about their baby being potty trained before they were even a year old, don't laugh at them. Do not doubt them. Do not think that they're telling a joke or lying to you because it is very, very feasible. It's called elimination communication. I might just make a video about that. If you think your toddler is ready to start the potty training journey, these are some of the signs of readiness to keep an eye out for. Keep in mind your toddler doesn't necessarily need to show signs of all of these things on the list. Even just one or two of these signs of readiness might be an indication that your little one is ready to start learning how to use the potty. One little indication that they're interested or showing signs of curiosity about toileting or the potty. Maybe they've been following you into the restroom or they hang out with you when you go potty to do your business. Maybe they ask to flush the potty. Maybe they're just curious about the whole process when you're going to the bathroom. Another indication that your toddler might be ready is if they're going off to hide somewhere to use the bathroom in their diaper or pull up, especially number two. They go to hide behind a couch or behind a door, behind a piece of furniture or in another room. That means that they know that they're going to the bathroom in their diaper or pull up. They have bladder awareness or they know when the poo poo's coming. And they might also know that that's not where we want them to go potty. We might have already told them that pee pee and poo poo goes in the toilet, but yet they're still hiding to go number two or going pee pee in their diaper. That means that they're aware that they're going in their diaper and it's not where we want them to be going. So they're hiding to go do that. Or perhaps they're hiding for privacy. These are all indications that they might be ready to go potty on the toilet. Also, if a baby comes up to you and says, I went potty, I made pee pee, yucky diaper, I'm all wet, stinky poo poo, whatever they're saying to you to say that they've done something in their diaper, that's an indication that they are aware that they're soiling their diapers and it might be because they don't like the feeling of being wet. They don't like that wet soggy feeling or maybe they don't like the smell of number two after they've gone poo in their diaper. These are all things that are indicating that your child might want to have their diaper changed. They might even ask you, please change my diaper. I'm all wet. I'm all done. Can I have a clean diaper? Or maybe they even take the diapers off themselves. Look out for this one, mommies. This could be disastrous. This could be very messy. If your toddler has left the room and they're running around in a diaper or pull up and they've gone number two and they decide to take off their pull up by themselves independently. They could get into that diaper, they could get into that messy poo poo and put their hands in it and make a mess. So that's a different video for a different day. But if your kiddo is taking off their own diaper because they've gone to the bathroom in it, then that's another indication that they might be ready to start using the toilet for that. One of the other signs of readiness indicating that your toddler might be ready to start the potty training process is if they're showing an interest in underpants or underwear. Uh, maybe they've seen your underpants when you're changing clothes or getting ready for bath time. Or maybe they've seen older siblings wearing their special superhero underpants or their pretty pink little frilly cotton flowery underpants, girly unicorn underwear, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, the Hulk, Spider-Man, their favorite cartoon characters. If they're showing an interest in putting those on or wishing that they could wear those big boy pants or those big girl pants, this might be an indication that your child is ready to start the potty training adventure. 
Also, if your child has been waking up with dry pants or if they've been staying dry during the day for longer stretches of time and you're noticing that you're changing fewer and fewer diapers throughout the day or you're going to change their diaper and it's like, oh, it's dry. There's nothing in here. It's You, you stayed dry. Even waking up from nap times dry or even waking up in the morning with a dry diaper, these are definitely signs that your child is beginning to learn bladder control or possibly bladder awareness and they're starting to learn how to hold it longer. If your child is showing one or any or all of these things on this list, it might be time to start the potty training journey. How does one start to prepare their child for the potty training adventure? Here are some of my favorite tips and ideas to try. First of all, this is my favorite. This is number one for me. Toddlers learn by example. Toddlers watch and they see us and they mimic us and they learn by our behaviors. They watch us because we are their role models. So they learn from us. Sometimes they even learn things we don't want them to pick up from us. But when they're watching us go potty and doing our toileting routine, they're keeping an eye on that. They're noticing, they are aware and they might be showing an interest. Let them see you doing your toileting routine. Let them be in the bathroom with you nonchalantly, just hanging out, not necessarily showing them anything or demonstrating anything, but letting them just hang out and be a part of the process, be a part of the ritual, you know, the hand washing and, you know, getting ready for bath time or brushing their teeth and then going potty and then maybe using some toilet paper, showing them how to flush. Your child might even be interested in doing your flushing for you. Some kids love it, some kids hate it. Don't force it, don't push it, so that they're not frightened by it. We don't want any steps of the toileting process to become a scary thing for your child. We want everything to be fun, happy, exciting, thrilling, and easy. But if your child seems like they wanna to try to flush the potty for you, let them. Just say, hey, push, okay, here goes the flush. Wave goodbye to the pee-pee. Wave goodbye to your poo-poo. Show them what you did in the potty and say, bye-bye, potty. Bye-bye, pee-pee. I'm all done with that, bye-bye. We're done with that and it's all clean. Now let's go wash our hands and quickly move on to the next step of the routine so that they're not you know, standing there dwelling on the fact that something is going away or going bye-bye. Some kids are traumatized by that. Some kids are sad when they see a poo-poo being flushed away because they think it's some a part of their body. They might think it's important and they shouldn't be flushing it away going bye-bye. So move on quickly from the flushing, but let them be a part of that if they want to. Maybe even talk to your toddler about how your tummy feels better after you've had a poo-poo. And oh, mommy's tummy feels so much better when the poo-poo comes out. Ah, I feel better now, I can go have a snack. Or oh, now I can go play or read my favorite books. Make it sound like something fun happens after your poo-poo comes out. This will plant the seed for them to understand that going poo-poo is a good thing, it feels better, and there's always a reward afterward. So again, normalize the whole process. Make it a natural, healthy process, easy peasy, nonchalantly, matter of factly, and just go about it as if it's just what we do. This is what we do. We're not gonna bring too much attention to one thing or another, unless it's the praise and the reward after their success on the potty. So in other words, if your child responds well to accolades and praise and hugs and kisses and good job, and I'm so proud of you, lay it on thick. Lay it on extra thick after a success. If they don't have a success, eh, it's okay. You didn't have anything ready. We'll try again later. Don't scold them. Don't push them, rush them, pressure them, or make them feel like they failed if they couldn't get anything to come out. Keep it happy. Keep it lighthearted. And again, just very normalized routine so that they know this is how it's done. This is how it works. This is how everybody does it. Oh, this is how it works. Make the bathroom routine fun, something that you can do together with each other. You know, sing some happy potty songs, sing some happy washing the hands songs, make up a silly happy flushing the toilet song, whatever it takes to keep your kiddo engaged and involved and interested and excited about the process so that they enjoy it and they actually look forward to the next time they get to go to the potty. Have a reward system ready, Children who are learning a new life skill need some sort of incentive. They need a reward or some sort of results to prove for all that work that they put in. So have a candy or a treat or a small toy, a trinket, some kind of reward that you know that they'll like and that they will be willing to work for and earn it. Not all mommies want to do candy or M&Ms or chocolate chips. That's okay, you don't need to have candy or food or sugar. It can be a toy or a different kind of reward. It doesn't even have to be something physical. It could be an activity that they really love that you're offering them for every potty success. It could be something as simple as earning some screen time on the iPad or your cell phone. It could be a walk to their favorite park 
or, oh, we get to try these new bubbles that we bought, our potty bubbles. Maybe you even have a little box or a basket sitting next to the toilet. I call it a treasure chest. This treasure chest could be filled with lots of toys and trinkets and little rewards that are very specific to only going potty. They don't get to play with it in the living room. They don't get to bring it in the car when they go somewhere. It's only by the potty, it stays by the potty, and when they've had a potty success, they get to dig in there and pull something out to play with it while they're going potty. Another very important step that I feel like I should always tell a mama who's about to start the potty training adventure is start reading potty training storybooks to your child. There are so many adorable potty training books out there for kids. They're filled with illustrations and cute cartoons and pictures to show your child what it looks like for a baby or a toddler to be sitting on the potty or having some pee pee come out or having a poo poo come out. And they have little pictures of this stuff. And it might feel silly to you, but your child needs that. Your child needs exposure to that. Your child needs to be introduced to that before you even start pulling out the small toddler potty that you put out on the floor for them. Let them see pictures of other kids and other babies. Let them explore the bright pages and the colors and the animated little characters. And reading the words to them will help them learn ahead of time and prepare them and help them anticipate what's to come and look forward to it so that when the time comes for them to actually do it themselves, they'll already be familiar with that and they'll know what's coming and they'll know what to expect. I have a list of books that are meant specifically for children and potty training. I'll put the links down below there for you so you'll have a list of all my favorite books. Miss Jen's favorite potty training books for children. These are my personal recommendations. There are tons of books out there, but these are ones that I have been specifically reading to toddlers for decades. A lot of these books have been around since the 1960s, 1970s, when I started potty training myself. <laughs> These books are classics, they're tried and true, they have been around this long because they work. For starters, I would put a small toddler potty on the floor for your child. I talk about this in my potty training video number one. It's part of a series that I think you might find helpful, especially when you're ready to start the actual potty training process. I'll make sure to include the links to my other videos down below. I think you might find them helpful and I would definitely recommend watching the whole series to help you with your potty training process but I always have the best success teaching a child to use a small toddler potty on the floor. Eventually, they can transition to the large adult grown-up regular toilet with the help of some step stools or baby step ladders. But for starters, it's just always worked the best for me with a small toddler potty on the floor that they feel comfortable at their height, sitting on, climbing onto, turning around. They can sit on it down on the ground on the floor with their feet firmly planted on the floor. This gives them stability. This gives them a feeling of secure, stable, steadiness, and not feeling too wobbly or shaky or too far up off the floor on a regular toilet. Keep that little potty in the room with you wherever you go. Move it from room to room with you wherever your toddler goes. That way the potty will be right there close by as a visual cue and a constant reminder. Again, check out my fun, creative how-to videos. It's a little potty training boot camp. It tells you all the basic steps for the reward system, praises, positive reinforcement, and how to prepare your toddler for the potty training adventure. Good luck, mamas. You can do this with a little bit of patience, some compassion, and a lot of love. I'm Miss Jen. Thanks for joining Nanny Knowledge with Miss Jen. I hope you found this video helpful today. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Make sure you check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>